I'm Dr. Ashley Doby, and I'm here to talk to you about the clubfoot deformity. The clubfoot is a uh, congenital foot deformity in which the baby's foot points down and in. The cause of the clubfoot, there are many theories, but it's still unknown as to what the actual cause is. About 50% of cases can be identified on ultrasound before delivery, most commonly seen at the 18 to 20 week ultrasound. More commonly though is detected at birth on the initial physical exam. It is one of the more common deformities identified in one to two out of a thousand births in North America. The treatment of clubfoot has been revolutionized over the years and the standard technique is the Ponsetti casting technique. The Ponsetti casting technique is a serial casting which weekly casts are performed with gentle stretching to correct the inward and downward deformity. These casts last up to five to six weeks and at completion of casting there is a possibility that your baby may require a small surgery releasing the uh, Achilles tendon. Once we've achieved the corrected position the most important part is the maintenance bracing. As children grow their feet grow quickly and their deformity can reoccur into a curled downward position. To prevent reoccurrence and maintain our correction we put the children into what we call boots and bars. The boots hold the foot in a slightly overcorrected position to help maintain our correction and to prevent our children from walking on the outside of their feet as they reach their walking age. They'll be worn full time for approximately three to four months after the completion of casting and then transition into nighttime bracing till about three to four years of age. Without bracing, there's a high risk of reoccurrence which means back to the beginning and serial casting for six weeks, if not more. The club foot deformity is one of the most common foot deformities in the newborn child. It's very treatable, but vital to be identified early. With proper management, over 95% of patients go on to have good to excellent functional outcomes.